Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to make a stem and leaf plot. Now, stem and leaf plots are a way for us to organize and display data. So we take the data, just a list of numbers, and we organize everything into a table called a stem and leaf plot. So this is a way for us to present data. Let's jump into our example where we have the number of packages delivered per day by a delivery person over the past 20 days that they have worked. Now, the first thing that we need to do is order the data from least to greatest if it's not already in order. For this example, this data is in order from least to greatest. Now, having everything in order makes it much simpler to go through the data and create a stem and leaf plot. And since everything is already in order, we can move on to creating the stem and leaf plot. We will start with a vertical line and then a horizontal line here. The left column is the stem column and then the right column is the leaf column. Now taking a look at the data, we have three digit numbers that range from 194 to 240. With stem and leaf plots, we split each value into a stem and a leaf. For example, let's take 240 and split this. So what we're going to do, we're going to split each value right here. The hundreds and tens digits are going to be the stems, and then the ones digits are going to be the leaves. So thinking about how we need to list the stems here, let's look at our lowest value and highest value. So 194 and 240. For 194, we split this value right here. So our lowest stem is 19. For 240, we split this value right here. So our highest stem is 24. Now we can list our stems. So we start at 19. Then we have 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So we have the 190s, the 200s, the 210s, the 220s, the 230s, and the 240s. So we went from our lowest stem of 19 to the highest stem of 24 and included everything in between. Now we need to list our leaves, and we're going to go in order starting with 194. So we have a stem of 19 there with a leaf of 4. Then we have 198. So stem of 19, leaf of 8. Next, we have 200. So we need to move down to the stem of 20, and we have a leaf of 0. Then we have 205, so leaf of 5. Then 206, leaf of 6. Then 208, so leaf of 8. Next, we have 211, so we need to move down to the stem of 21. We have a leaf of 1 for 211. Then we have 213, so leaf of 3. 214, leaf of 4. 216, leaf of 6, 217, leaf of 7. Then we have 222. So we have a stem of 22 and then a leaf of 2. 224, leaf of 4. 225, leaf of 5. 227, leaf of 7. 228, leaf of 8 and then 229, leaf of 9. Next, we have 231, so we're moving to the 230s. We need a stem of 23 and a leaf of 1. And then we have 236, so stem of 23, leaf of 6. And then lastly, we have 240, so stem of 24, leaf of 0. And that's it for our leaves. So we have the 190s, the 200s, 
the 210s, the 220s, the 230s, and the 240s. The stems are the hundreds and tens digits, and then the leaves are the ones digits. So now what we can do is make a key. That way, anyone looking at this will know exactly what the stems represent and what the leaves represent and how to read this. All we need to do is take an example from the stem and leaf plot and put what it equals. So for example, let's use 225. So we're just using an example from the stem and leaf plot. So underneath we can put key and then a stem of 22 and let's split this with a leaf of five equals 225. And we can even write packages as a label since this is packages delivered per day. So that key shows that the hundreds and tens digits are the stems and then the ones digits are the leaves. And then lastly, to wrap this up, let's put a title up top here. So packages delivered per day. So there you have it. There's how to make a stem and leaf plot. And for this example, we worked with three digit numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.